Yo, welcome back to Eagle Talks Football. How you guys doing today? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this show straight started, guys. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ranking the Premier League top three and going week by week and predicting the results and then predicting the winner of the Premier League subsequently after that. As you can see here, we're using a Premier League calculator and we're going to be starting with game week 29, which is the games in hand because of the FA Cup. Now, Let's begin. First, we have uh, Liverpool face Everton away, Brighton, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea. Now, I will tell you this, Arsenal are not going to smash Chelsea like people are saying online. It's going to be a closer game than people think, and it's going to be like a 2-0 victory in my opinion. Brighton versus Man City. Brighton are a good team. They always tend to score at home most of the time. So I'm going to give them that one goal lead, but I think Man City is going to win. And then when, the next game is going to be Everton versus Liverpool. I'm going to go with a 1-0 Liverpool. This is still a derby and it's going to be cagey. And they're going to want to do whatever they can to stop Liverpool from winning that league title. So yeah, these are the kind of things we're going to be doing for the remaining 30 game weeks. And if we can just calculate what the updated thing will be, there you go. 67, 67, 66. And now we will go into this weekend's fixtures as Arsenal play Man City and Liverpool face Brighton. Before we go any further, make sure you guys do hit the like button and do check out today's title sponsor, which is SofaScore, the best football app out there. So yeah, the link is in the description for that, but let's continue, ladies and gentlemen, as we still have a long way to go. We've only done one week and we have several more to get into. Now, next week, uh, the next the next week that we have is the uh, the weekend coming up, Arsenal versus Man City. First, we're going to have Liverpool to go top of the league in a win against Brighton, where they beat Brighton at home and they do concede in that game. But then Arsenal, Man City, we both score two goals and I think this is a game where Arsenal finally get something away at City it's not all three points but it's something not nonetheless and that crucial uh, uh, result will then put Liverpool top of the league after game week 30 this upcoming weekend now I could be wrong but these are my predictions so you guys let me know where you disagree or agree with me now Man City face Aston Villa at home. I think Man City beat Aston Villa, and I think it's going to be a 2-0 victory. I think Liverpool absolutely smashed Sheffield United at home. And then Arsenal also faced Luton Town. I think Arsenal beat Luton Town about 3-0. That's what, that's what I'm going with right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you disagree with any of my results. But up to just to update the results now, now you have Liverpool on 73 three points if I'm not mistaken Arsenal on 71 and Man City on 70 as you can see right there and then we go on to game week 32 Man City face Crystal Palace Crystal Palace are a bogey team they always get a, a, a something against Man City is are they going to be able to do it again this week Arsenal away at Brighton Brighton always give Arsenal a tough time and Liverpool face Manchester United Manchester United always give them a tough time so I think Man City will beat Crystal Palace 2-0. I think Arsenal will beat Brighton 2-0. But I do think Manchester United will, slip, uh, will, will make Liverpool slip up. And this is a game where I'm chalking it down as a Liverpool loss. Where Manchester United have just recently beat Liverpool, I think they can do it again in, 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 the, in the league. At Old Trafford, it is no joke. It's tough to play at Old Trafford. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go do it ourselves. Uh, our, that's Arsenal. That is. But then we go. Uh, but then before we go to game week thirty three, we do a quick calculation and see what the update is. And Arsenal have now gone ahead of Liverpool in the league, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting, interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see right there, Arsenal have now jumped ahead of Liverpool in the league. This is interesting. We're going to have to see where things go from there. But yeah, let's play some music and, let, and let's get it and let's get it going. Let's get it going. Uh, you know what? Turn that off. Let's continue, though. I was, uh, why am I celebrating? The league's not done. The league is not done. Why am I putting music on after 32 weeks? I'm going to start choking if if I if I get ahead of myself. I need to relax. Aston Villa at home, 2-1 two, two, victory. Two, no victory. 
2-0 victory versus Aston Villa. Crystal Palace at home for, uh, for Liverpool. Another 2-1 victory for Liverpool. Uh, Man City versus Luton Town. I say they smashed them, 3-0. Luton Town are probably going to get relegated. This is now another weekend where we calculate and Arsenal are still at the top with 76, 77 points. Liverpool with 76 and Man City with 76. This is a tight title race, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know who do you think is going to win the title race in the comment section right now. Um, next, we have ooh, Tottenham versus Man City. Tottenham always tend to beat Man City, so I'm giving them at least two goals uh, in that game. Brighton, uh, sorry, Fulham. Fulham can get a goal at home, and Wolves, Wolves could do something against us. So I'm going Arsenal beat Wolves 2-0. I'm going Liverpool beats Fulham 2-1. Uh, uh, I mean, Arsenal beats Wolves 2-1. Liverpool beats Fulham 2-1. Uh, and Man City lose 2-0 to Tottenham. They have only scored one goal away at uh, the, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and they've never scored a league goal or, cha or a Champions League goal away at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 Tottenham victory. And let's calculate what the new calculations are and at this point you should have man city behind yes man city are now four points behind could they be out of the title race in game week 34 could man city now be finally out of the title race there's still a lot of football to be played as we now have arsenal away to tottenham <laughs> oh my god is it time are we gonna choke i'm worried nottingham forest don't get nothing uh, at home versus Man City. Man City are going to beat Nottingham Forest. They're going to make it a close one, though. Wolves, I mean, uh, West Ham. West Ham are going to make it tough for Liverpool, but Liverpool are going to skate by with a 3-1 victory. And Arsenal, Tottenham are going to score. Can Arsenal get the 2-1 victory? I don't think so. I think we get the draw, guys. And I think at this point, we draw that game, and it's going to be a situation where we've now dropped – down out of the top spot in the title race and Liverpool have now overtaken us with 82 points. Arsenal have 81 and Man City have 79. We've now let Man City back in, but they're still four points off top. Sorry, they're still very close, but three points off top. Arsenal are one point off. We're going to have to wait and see if we can do it, but we have another game week that we need to go to. Did I do all the predictions? Yes. Game week 36 now. Arsenal smash Bournemouth 5 now. I think we smash Bournemouth and then and then Liverpool go against Tottenham and they also get a draw versus Tottenham. But this is a 2 2 draw. Uh, I think Tottenham and, and Liverpool always have very open games back and forth. And this is just going to be another one of them where Man City are now back in the title race as they smash Wolves at home 3 0. And putting in that calculator, now you have Man City coming back into the fold. Only, only, only three, only two points off top. Liverpool one point off top. Arsenal top of the league with eighty four and a massive sixty goal difference to Liverpool and City's forty eight and forty five. That is a crucial, crucial factor because that's basically an extra point come the end of the season. Arsenal away to Manchester United. Wow. What a game. Manchester United are going to want us to win the league, but let's see what happens here. Aston Villa face Liverpool, and I think this is Liverpool's big shock result of the title running. Aston Villa, who are in the in the top four race, get a win at home versus Liverpool. Fulham lose. Uh, Fulham lose to Manchester City, which is regular clockwork for Man City. Man City actually will get a 3-1 victory. And Arsenal, I think, will get a 3-2 shock result away at Manchester United as Arsenal take keep the lead in the title race with two games remaining. And that has officially basically knocked Liverpool out of the title race. They're four points out with two games remaining. With one game remaining, actually, it's basically done for Liverpool, they cannot win the league anymore. But Man City need Arsenal to lose. A draw is not good enough on the final day. So first, what happens is Liverpool beat Wolves on the day 3-0. And with Liverpool winning, Liverpool 
with Liverpool winning, they're one point off top, so they basically have no chance of winning. Manchester City will beat West Ham 2-0, and they will be and they will be uh, top if Arsenal don't get all three points and win the league on 88 points. But Arsenal play Everton on the final day. And I think Arsenal have played Everton on the final day before when we won the league in, in the 90s. So we've been here before, and it's going to be an Arsenal victory, 2-0, to win the league with 90 points. And that means you're going to have... Arsenal with 90 points, Liverpool with uh, Man City with 88 points, and Liverpool with 86 points on the final game week. This is my Premier League title right there. Arsenal win it. Let me know if you guys disagree. Let me know what you guys think. I genuinely think this is this has been. One of my favorite videos to do so far, and I've done in a while. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Hit that like button on the way out. Let me know what you guys think about my predictions. Do you think any of them are realist unrealistic, realistic, whatever you think? Give me your input, and I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe I should do more of these. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'm out. Peace. Love for the love, people.